If you were following me, uh, Ty and I were in North Carolina last week. Um, there was uh, there is a river called the Cape Fear River. Uh, it serves drinking water to 500,000 people. It also is a huge economic source for the region, Wilmington, North Carolina, uh, which is in southern North Carolina. So Cape Fear River, there is a DuPont factory. DuPont in 2015 spun off as Chemours. Chemours. They spun it off because they were getting so many class action lawsuits against DuPont, so they spun off into another company. Um, so Chemours uh, uh, manufactures a lot of things, and they manufacture something called Gen X, which is used, it's a toxic chemical that's used to make Teflon and vinyl. Well, Chem X will, used to be C8. If you are an environmental uh, expert, if you follow environmental things, Chem A uh, C8 was used in Teflon and other things and was the source of mass illness in the Ohio River Valley uh, uh, for the last decade or two. And they found uh, C8 in drinking water and there were 30 wrongful death suits filed against DuPont and a, a couple hundred other uh, illness suits filed against DuPont. February of this year, DuPont had to pay nearly one billion, with a B, one billion, billion, uh, with a B, dollar uh, suit, settlement, for the wrongful death and other lawsuits for how C8 made people sick. You had cancers, autoimmune illnesses, liver disease, right? So DuPont in 2009 got permission from the EPA to switch from use, uh, C8 manufacturing to they started moving uh, something, uh, creating something called Gen X, G-E-N capital X, which is a similar chemical compound, a little bit different, but basically the evil stepchild of C8. And again, it's used in making Teflon. Well, it just came out about two weeks ago from local media in North Carolina that Gen X has been being dumped into the Cape Fear River for years. And the only reason it came out, the EPA didn't tell anyone, the state uh, of, of North Carolina's environmental department didn't tell anyone. A local media uh, outlet, the Star News, broke the story. So if not for a local media outlet, nobody in North Carolina would know the drinking water is at risk. So Ty and I went down there, interviewed activists. I interviewed the mayor of uh, Wilmington. I interviewed uh, very concerned residents not knowing if their drinking water is safe or not. And we asked questions. Well, because the, the EPA, when they gave the permit for DuPont to manufacture this toxic chemical that was very close in makeup to C8. Share this video, let's get it out. They told them you cannot dump this in water bodies. You can, you, can, you can manufacture it, no dumping in water bodies. So when it came out that Gen X was being dumped into the Cape Fear River, which scared the shit out of people because now they don't know what's in their drinking water, you would think the EPA would demand manufacturing be stopped right away. We were at the press conference last week in Wilmington. That did not happen. You know, uh, first you heard the EPA says they don't have the jurisdiction. Then the state said they can't demand it from the company. So they politely asked the company to shut down manufacturing of this toxic chemical. And why this is important, folks, is this is Wilmington, North Carolina. So it might not be close to you, but think about where you live. There are, there are industrial or chemical or manufacturing companies dumping toxic shit in your water all over the country. And the EPA apparently is not monitoring it. So even if the EPA says you can't dump, there's very little mo monitoring going on. And as President Trump, if he has his way, there's going to be huge cuts made to the EPA. And the, e the, the police, so to speak, the EPA people who are supposed to monitor this stuff. So how much of this contamination and this dumping of toxic cancer-causing chemicals or other illnesses is going on where you live? This isn't to make you scared. This is just reality. Nobody would have known about this in North Carolina if not for this media station. What do you not know? And by the way, at least the state of North Carolina knew about this dating back to 2012 and 2013. And in November the state, uh, state departments knew about it from, a, from an additional study and didn't say anything for now seven months. So they deem it, oh, they said there was a low risk. The amount found uh, what, through their studies, there was a low risk to people. Well, how do you know there's a low risk if A, there are no real regulations on the compound, and B, 
there haven't been enough stu- there has not been enough studying or testing that has gone on. And as as I interviewed a, a local marine biology professor down there, Dr. Larry, uh, oh I forget his last name, damn it. Uh, go on youtubecom slash politics. Uh, you'll see the interview I did with uh, Dr. Larry. I believe his last name was Huron, if, I, if I'm correct. Um, he said it's not only C8, it's not only Gen X that is found in this water. There's other chemical compounds that are found in this water that they're not testing for, and they're not informing the citizens of North Carolina. 500,000 people, half a million people get their water from this drinking body. So yesterday uh, it came out that the company Chemors uh, has agreed to uh, stop dumping Gen X in the Cape Fear River. Uh, The company that makes Gen X upstream from Wilmington says it will take additional steps to keep the chemical compound out of the Cape Fear River as federal regulators say they're investigating. Well, thank you for investigating now when you got caught. In a news release, the Chemors company said, quote, it will capture, remove, and safely dispose of wastewater that contains the byproduct Gen X generated from fluoromonomers production at its manufacturing plant at Fayetteville. Chemors says the process will begin tomorrow, but it will not elaborate on what new steps will be taken. So, in secret, we don't even know what they're doing or how they're doing it. Gen X has been found in, in the approximately 70 miles of the Cape Fear River between the plant and the cumberland Bladen County line and Wilmington, including at the intake site for the Cape Fear Public Utility Authority. CFPUA says it's currently unable to remove the compound, which is a key ingredient in Teflon, from its drinking water system through its water treatment plant. This action complements the abatement technology already put in place at the Fayetteville site in 2013, the Chemors news release reads. A company spokesperson said there are interim steps to keep Gen X out of the river. Meanwhile, the EPA is investigating whether Chemors is in compliance with a 2009 order issued under the Toxic Substance Control Act for the production of Gen X. Quote, this investigation will allow EPA to determine whether Chemors is in compliance with requirements of the order to control releases to the environment at the Fayetteville, North Carolina facility, an EPA spokesperson said. EPA is also reviewing the ability additional toxicity data submitted by the company as required under the consent order and updating the risk assessment using the additional toxicity data. First of all, what do you mean you need to investigate? You told them not to dump water in the river. It's been found that they dumped water in the river. What are you investigating? That company should be shut down immediately upon further investigation. Uh, secondly, what are they doing to ensure that Gen X is no longer going to be dumped in the water? And if they have the ability to do it immediately, why weren't they mandated to do it from the start? And if you're going to tell a company you cannot dump in the water, you can d- not dump chem chemicals in the water like this, who is monitoring this in North Carolina and beyond? Isn't the EPA or the state officials supposed to be monitoring this? It's a little too late now that you're shutting down production. Yeah, that's a small victory, but how long has the chemical been dumped? What are the health effects to human humans? And what, even though there's not widespread illness now, what are the effects of chemicals like Gen X? Like lead, you don't see the full effects in in children or people for 10 to 15 years. People need to know, people who have been consuming the drinking water, not knowing that this toxic cancer-causing chemical has been in it, they need to know the full effects. And if you're going to demand that a company doesn't dump water, what are the mechanisms for monitoring it? We know that these companies don't care about human health. They don't care about whether people get sick. They care about the money, Lebowski, the money. Scary times, scary times. And the bottom line is, we could be worried about the cuts that are being threatened to the EPA, but as you're seeing, the EPA, over and over and over again, they're not exactly stringently or very meticulously monitoring these companies and what they do. Part of that is understaffing, and part of that is, this is the federal government, and we live in the United Corporations of America, and we let companies and corporations do whatever the hell they want and treat the citizens in Flint, East Chicago, North Carolina, Pittsburgh, Florida, New York, everywhere that the water is contaminated, treat them like guinea pigs. Experiment on them. So, temporarily, like, for the moment, Chemors says they're gonna stop dumping Gen X in the water. That's not enough. 
needs to be a full investigation who knew what, when, and where. Why is the EPA continuing to let this happen? You, you constantly hear in these, in these areas, I go, well, the EPA doesn't have jurisdiction. Well, if the state isn't doing what they're supposed to be doing, and the company that you're mandating not to be dumping toxic chemicals isn't doing what they're supposed to be doing, whose jurisdiction is it if it's not the federal government? Maybe that needs to be looked at and evaluated.